All right, I think it's time to um, get back into the, um, the walls and doors and windows of this project. So we've got our sheet set up. Let's go back to our main floor. And the nice thing is now that we have our sheet set up and all of our views and turn the cropping back on here, um, as we add our doors and windows and rooms and tags and all that, basically it's just going to show up on the sheets. We only have to add a new sheet when we create a new view. And I don't think we have a roof plan either, so we'll have to add that. Um, so now let's just add some new partitions in here. I'm not going to be too, too concerned um, with the logic of everything. but So I'm going to click on this wall and say create similar. It's going to basically add another uh, wall just like that. So I'm going to just pick on here and add a wall in there. Escape over here. And then maybe, now nah, let's go in the middle over here. You can see that it snaps to the middle. And in this room, maybe we're going to have, you know, like these are kind of big boardrooms, okay? We can create smaller offices in between if we want. You know, this one might even have a little corner room over here. And we're going to need some bathrooms in there somewhere. So I don't know. Let's just assume there's going to be a men's and women's bathroom in there at least and a locker room or something like that. And then this is just a big kind of open space for vehicles and stuff. So um, we don't need too much in there. So let's go in and add some doors now. So we go architecture, door. And we're going to look at what doors we have. And we can say edit type. And we can see that this is this type of door. And it has uh, these types and sizes. So let's say load. Let's get some more doors. And I don't want imperial. I want to go back to libraries and go US metric doors and let's go door double glass yes double glass uh, let's also create what is a door opening a uh, door curtain wall double we're going to need that uh, curtain wall double storefront single glass i like the look of that you know what let's just load them all shift boom oh it's not letting me pick more than one at a time. All right, we're going to we're going to back out of that cancel cancel. Before we to, to load our doors, we're going to go in here, insert load family. And instead of doing it from the door tool, libraries, US metric doors. Click on here, shift click. Now it'll let me grab them all. Bring them in. So it's going to go through each one and ask me what sizes I want. Well, from this single panel uh, door, I'm going to go with, you know, these sizes. And with this one, no types required, no type required, curtain wall doors, uh, double door, uh, 1800 looks good. This one, same thing, double glass, 1800. Double sliding, looks good. Door opening, no worries. These guys don't come with types. Single flush, again, go with a three foot by two meter. So we're gonna load in all those doors. Now I don't it, it, um, advise that you load in every door, every possible door, window, whatever, because it will slow your, your, your file down. So you really only want to have as much in there as you need, but you don't want to have to go looking and loading every time. So there's a balance between too much and not enough. Uh, but now we can see, okay, we've got all those doors uh, loaded in there. So let's go door with the curtain wall stuff only goes in curtain wall. So we're not going to do that right away. Uh, door double glass. Sure. So I'm going to, I can either click on here and pick this size and just drag it in which is probably the easiest way to do it. And go over here and say, okay, there's my double doors going in there. And some double doors for my exits there. And back exit over here. And maybe we've got some glass doors going around there and maybe even one on the side over here. Okay, 
uh, overhead doors. Did we get one? M door overhead rolling overhead sectional 24 by 2000. Uh, that's not very big. Okay, so oh, I want to click on there. I want to flip that overhead door. So I don't even know. I know I want a, a, an 18 by 10 foot door, right? That's what I kind of want. So what I'm going to do is go into here. This is where my imperial comes in. I'm going to duplicate this. I'm actually just going to call it an 18 foot by 9 foot. And then, because that name makes sense to me. Now, from there, I'm going to go in and change the size of it. So I say, okay, an 18 by 9. And, oh, they are instance parameters. Oh, I thought I had to make a new type. So I can go in here and just say 18 feet by 9 feet. See how I did that? And click out. So that is an instance parameter, meaning that I don't have to make a new type. So I'm going to click on here and say create similar. Means give me one of these. Ah, okay. So it's going to create, it make them small again. So that's okay. Oh, it is actually. In the end, it's making it the right size. Interesting. The preview is off. So picking on here, flip. See the flipping? You want the panel on the inside. So I'm going to take these big overhead doors and go to my 3D view now. So I've got my overhead doors there. I've got my glass doors. Okay. And I'm going to add some more um, windows in there. Let's have a, a last, another look at the main floor. Eh, not too bad. So just loading some doors and adding in some doors randomly. Um, clearly, you can, as far as interior layout, obviously, you can feel free to draw whatever you want inside of here. Um, it's really just the lessons that we learn along the way that is critical.